what is going on guys and welcome to html tutorial in this video we're going to continue with our website project and we're going to actually add a unordered list and actually links that we have learned to our website so the first thing that i would want to do is actually i would want to create a an external link over here that would go to wikipedia website about the tea right so the first thing that i'm going to do is actually i'm going to just going to create a link over here i'm not going to do any href nothing and I'm also gonna create over here a image because I would wanna use the fact that we learned about image, how we can actually use the image as our link, right? So and over here, I'm just gonna close it out and I'm gonna open this uh, window a little bit more and we're gonna go actually to Wikipedia and uh, Wikipedia over here. And once it's loaded, we're gonna search for T. And once we have a T, you can see the first thing is I'm gonna copy this picture over here. So I'm going to say that I want to save image as because that's the image that I want to use. I'm just going to make sure that I'm actually sitting where I need to be. And actually I'm not. So let me just go back to desktop and we're going to be in HTML and I'm just going to save it over here. And the next thing that I'm just going to copy this little link over here. So we know exactly where we need to go with our uh, link over here. So I'm just going to copy this and I can close it, uh, close it down right over here so now let's go all the way in the bottom and the first thing that we need to do is actually create a link over here and i'm going to say that my href is going to be this uh, address that i just pasted so you can see that now will be directly directly going to wikipedia and the attribute that i'm going to add over here to the link i'm going to say that i want a target blank because when we're working with the brackets live preview, it's uh, it's actually closing down the window if we're going from the live preview. So we'd want to have a bra uh, target blank over here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to check what is the name of the image. And actually, I can rename the image. And I'm going to say that it's a wiki T. So it's a Wikipedia T. And over here, my source is going to be uh, images. That's the folder that I'm working with. And I'm looking for a Wikipedia T. And then let's say that I'm going to create a width of that element to be like, I don't know, like 50 pixels or something like that. So let's go and check it out what we have. I'm actually going to make it bigger a little bit over here. And let's go all the way in the bottom. And we can see that we have this uh, image that actually works as a link. So if I press it over here, you can see that it's opening up right away in the Wikipedia page. It's pretty cool, right? And then we can go back over here. And let's say that I'm going to write some paragraph over here. I'm just going to say that if you are interested in uh, learning about T or something, uh, I don't know, if you like what you see, uh, see, follow, follow the link. Uh, I don't know, to, to be impressed, right? To be, uh, I don't know, amazed. Amazed over here, something like that. Uh, it's probably misspelled but uh, anyway it doesn't matter so let's go back over here and you can see that if you want to uh, if you like what you see follow the link to be amazed over here i can just press it and we can actually go directly to wikipedia so the next thing that i would want to do is actually create a an order list and i would want to place that an order list somewhere over here where we're actually directly uh actually saying uh, where the user should go right so I guess the best option would be doing something like on a top. So what I'm going to do is over here, I'm just going to, within the body, I'm going to create a, an ordered list. And within that unordered list, I'm just going to set a couple of a, a list items over here. And the list items also going to serve as a links. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to create a href. And I'm just going to leave all these hrefs for now. I'm just going to leave them blank because we haven't created any. And I'm just gonna do it to target blank again. Target is also gonna be still blank. So you can see it's like this. And I'm just gonna, let's say four now, I'm just gonna create four links. Maybe I'm gonna delete some. Maybe I'm gonna open some. It's gonna depend what, what I'm trying to do is actually I'm just gonna create a couple of sites within our web page. actually, a couple of pages where actually whoever is visiting our page can actually visit. Now, one thing that I still want to do that I actually just forgot and I remember that I want to create one more link over here all the way in the bottom 
where it actually says a link and the link is actually leading to ID that I'm just going to create and the uh, ID name is going to be a top over here like this and uh, over here I'm just going to close it out and I'm just going to say top and what's going to happen that every, every time somebody scrolls down and if he wants to go up he's going to be able to actually go to the top and what I'm going to do over here I'm just going to create a line break like this and now I have a line break so now I can see that they're si sitting separately and actually maybe let's go ahead and copy this and let's paste it over here so maybe let's create a little bit more space right so now you can see that this is technically all the way in the bottom right and over here if we remember that when we were using this attribute href and we placed this hashtag with the top that means that somewhere there's going to be a uh, attribute id and in this case i'm going to put it all the way up here in the body we can also do that but it's because body is still an element and over here i'm just going to say that this is id top and now let's check it out what happens so if i go over here press it over here you can see that it brings me all the way to the top so that's what we learned how we can navigate within our own within this one site so let's right now navigate through through our through our whole web page this is not going to be external links this is going to be actually internal links and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a couple of sites over here so i'm just going to uh, minimize these images so they're not in your way and the first thing that I'm going to say first uh, new file is going to be, let's say I'm going to call them articles, HTML. The next thing, and then you can see that right now it's black, but we don't care about this. We're just going to go over here and we can call this index. We don't need that. And we have the website. So let's go back over here again. And now we can actually link it to this articles. So the first thing that I would write over here, I would say that this is the link to our articles page but you can see that right now of course it's blank and there's nothing in there but we can still set the href and the href would be articles html so now as i press it we're going to be going to articles page now let's copy some of this what we actually need uh and uh we're going to be actually pasting that just so it's easier so we don't need to need to do like a long setup or something so let's go to articles and i'm going to use the brackets extensions over here and i'm going to right away just insert the basic skeleton and if you're interested there's i have a brackets extension extensions playlist so if you want to check it out but over here what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this meta for now we don't need that and we're going to say that this is uh, I don't know, art, articles page, right? And what we can do over here, we're just going to paste this over here like this, not a line break. Let's jump back to websites. This is what we should be pasting. And now we have a, a web page that I would want to just actually just copy this over here. And I'm just going to paste this. So I'm just going to copy this go to articles paste it over here so you can see what i'm trying to do is for all our pages within our website i'm just going to pretty much make them the same setup right um, but what i'm going to do is over here what i would need to do is actually i made it a little bit wrong over here you can see that i have this one as first the articles but actually we should have made the home page as first so let, let me go back over here to the website and what we would need to do over here we're going to just take this right now and we're going to cut it and just press it down and paste it over here and actually what we we're going to do is this is going to be our home page and the home page is going to have a, a location website html right because that's where the let's you see that's the file name right so now i have two of them and i also would need to do it over here i would need to do it over here in articles one where i'm basically setting a I'm just going to take this over here. Again, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. And now we have a target and I'm just going to say that this is a website HTML. And now over here, I'm just going to write that this is a home page. Home page. So now uh, let me just uh, close it over here before. Oh no, sorry. Before I actually close the uh, close the Wikipedia, let's just go ahead. And let's just copy some of the articles over here. So let's say I'm just going to start with the origins and history. And what I'm going to do is something like this. 
I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna create a couple of uh, couple of uh, paragraphs from this so copy this now I can close it over here and now I'm sitting in articles page and let me go to the HTML file of the articles page now I can see this is where I'm sitting in the body and what I'm gonna do is over here I'm just gonna paste it and let's just decide uh, how many uh, how many paragraphs you would want to do so let's say first I'm gonna create this paragraph and let me again just copy this over here cut this this is going to be our first paragraph this is going to be the second over here i'm just going to do another one and over here i'm going to cut this and so technically we have two paragraphs right so we'll paste it over here and what we can do is actually we're going to again create these two links over here underneath but they are going to be the links that are actually within the page right so what i can do over here i'm just going to create a uh let's say in this case in this case we can just create a order list so like this so this is going to be our order list we're, we're going to be learning how to work again with order list and over here i'm just going to say again list item and again over here i'm just going to say that this is going to be anchor and the href the href attribute is going to be i'm going to call this id number one and just for sake of it i mean usually you'd probably want something that's actually uh has something to do with this paragraph but just just for sake for now over here and i'm just going to say that this is the first paragraph over here first para and the next thing i'm just going to do it over here and I'm just going to copy this and here I'm going to write two and this is second right second and now over here only thing we have to do again the same as like we did over here with the website remember when we were actually creating this top uh, ID same thing we're going to do over here we're just going to create ID and we're going to call it one I'm going to say that this is one and over here we're going to say that this is let's say two and just for sake of it because it is a longer page let's create all the way in the bottom also uh also another uh, another uh, let's say a anchor tag that would lead to the top so over here again i'm just going to create a anchor tag over here and i'm going to say that this is top and this is going to have id again to the top so href over here and let's say it's going to be to the top and again all the way in the top where is my body i can just say that this is going to be a id and this is going to be a top top id all right so you can see that i have them right now blank because i haven't had anything over here you can see that these two i haven't made because these are going to be our two more uh, pages that we're going to be actually adding so let's not worry about it right now but what i want to show you is that let's say right now we're sitting here and when i press first paragraph you can see it opens the first paragraph second paragraph we're going all the way to second paragraph when we're here we click we go to the top and if we go over here and click on home page you can see that this opening the home page which, which is our t website and we go over here this is our t website and if we want to go to our articles page again we just press it over here and you can see that it's opening an articles page uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next video